An immunosay is a biochemical test that measures the presence or concentration of a macromolecule in a solution through the use of an antibody or immunoglobulin. The macromolecule detected by the immunosay is often referred to as an analyte, and is in many cases a protein. Analytes in biological liquids such as serum or urine are frequently measured using immunosays for medical and research purposes. Immunosays come in many different formats and variations. Immunosays may be run in multiple steps with reagents being added and washed away or separated at different points in the assay. Multi-step assays are often called separation immunosays or heterogeneous immunosays. Some immunosays can be carried out simply by mixing the reagents and sample and making a physical measurement. Such assays are called homogeneous immunosays or less frequently non-separation immunosays. The use of a calibrator is often employed in immunosays. Calibrators are solutions that are known to contain the analyte in question, and the concentration of that analyte is generally known. Comparison of an assay's response to a real sample against the assay's response produced by the calibrators makes it possible to interpret the signal strength in terms of the presence or concentration of analyte in the sample. Principle Immunosays rely on the ability of an antibody to recognize and bind a specific macromolecule in what might be a complex mixture of macromolecules. In immunology the particular macromolecule bound by an antibody is referred to as an antigen and the area on an antigen to which the antibody binds is called an epitope. In some cases an immunosay may use an antigen to detect for the presence of antibodies, which recognize that antigen, in a solution. In other words, in some immunosays, the analyte may be an antibody rather than an antigen. In addition to the binding of an antibody to its antigen, the other key feature of all immunosays is a means to produce a measurable signal in response to the binding. Most, though not all, immunosays involve chemically linking antibodies or antigens with some kind of detectable label. A large number of labels exist in modern immunosays, and they allow for detection through different means. Many labels are detectable because they either emit radiation, produce a color change in a solution, fluoresce under light, or because they can be induced to emit light. History Rosalind Sussman Yellow and Solomon Burson are credited with the development of the first immunosays in the 1950s. Yellow would accept the Nobel Prize for her work in immunosays in 1977, becoming the second American woman to have won the award. Immunosays became considerably simpler to perform and more popular when techniques for chemically linked enzymes to antibodies were demonstrated in the late 1960s. In 1983 Professor Anthony Campbell at Cardiff University replaced radioactive iodine used in immunosay with an acridinium ester that makes its own light, chemiluminescence. This type of immunosay is now used in around 100 million clinical tests every year worldwide enabling clinicians to measure a wide range of proteins, pathogens and other molecules in blood samples. By 2012, the commercial immunosay industry earned US$17 billion US dollars and was thought to have prospects of slow annual growth in the 2-3% range. Labels, immunosays employ a variety of different labels to allow for detection of antibodies and antigens. Labels are typically chemically linked or conjugated to the desired antibody or antigen. Enzymes, possibly one of the most popular labels to use in immunosays is enzymes. Immunosays which employ enzymes are referred to as enzyme-linked immunism and assays, or sometimes enzyme immunosays. Enzymes used in ELI assays include horseradish peroxidase, alkaline phosphatase or glucose oxidase. These enzymes allow for detection often because they produce an observable color change in the presence of certain reagents. In some cases these enzymes are exposed to reagents which cause them to produce light or chemiluminescence. Radioactive isotopes Radioactive isotopes can be incorporated into immunosay reagents to produce a radioimmunosay. Radioactivity emitted by bound antibody antigen complexes can be easily detected using conventional methods. RIAs were some of the earliest immunosays developed, but have fallen out of favor largely due to the difficulty and potential dangers presented by working with radioactivity. DNA reporters, a newer approach to immunosays involves combining real-time quantitative polymerase chain reaction and traditional immunosay techniques. 
called real-time immunoquantitative PCR. The label used in these assays is a DNA probe. Fluorogenic reporters Fluorogenic reporters like phycoerythrin are used in a number of modern immunosays. Protein microarrays are a type of immunosay that often employ fluorogenic reporters. Electrochemiluminescent tags Some labels work on an electrochemiluminescent principle, in which the label emits detectable light in response to electrical current. Labelless immunosays While some kind of label is generally employed in immunosays, there are certain kinds of assays which do not rely on labels, but instead employ detection methods that don't require the modification or labeling the components of the assay. Surface plasmon resonance is an example of technique that can detect binding between an unlabeled antibody and antigens. Another demonstrated labeless immunosay involves measuring the change in resistance on an electrode as antigen binds to it. Classifications and formats Immunosays can be run in a number of different formats. Generally, an immunosay will fall into one of several categories depending on how it is run. Competitive, homogeneous immunosays, in a competitive, homogeneous immunosay, an labeled analyte in a sample competes with labeled analyte to bind an antibody. The amount of labeled, and bound analyte is then measured. In theory, the more analyte in the sample, the more labeled analyte gets competed off and hence the amount of labeled, and bound analyte is proportional to the amount of analyte in the sample. Competitive, heterogeneous immunosays, as in a competitive, homogeneous assay, in a competitive, heterogeneous immunosay and labeled analyte in a sample competes with labeled analyte to bind an antibody. In the heterogeneous assays the labeled, and bound analyte is separated or washed away, and the remaining labeled, bound analyte is measured. One site, non-competitive immunosays, the unknown analyte in the sample binds with labeled antibodies. The unbound, labeled antibodies are washed away, and the bound, labeled is measured, which is directly proportional to the amount of unknown analyte. Two site, non-competitive immunosays, the analyte in the unknown sample is bound to the antibody site, then labeled antibody is bound to the analyte. The amount of labeled antibody on the site is then measured. It will be directly proportional to the concentration of the analyte because labeled antibody will not bind if the analyte is not present in the unknown sample. This type is also known as sandwich assay as the analyte is sandwiched between two antibodies. Examples, clinical tests, a wide range of clinical tests are immunosays. Many home pregnancy tests are immunosays which detect the pregnancy marker human chorionic gonadotropin. A few examples of other clinical immunosays include tests that measure levels of CKMB to assess heart disease, insulin to assess hypoglycemia and prostate-specific antigen to detect prostate cancer. Sports anti-doping analysis, immunosays are used in sports anti-doping laboratories to test athletes' blood samples for prohibited recombinant human growth hormone. B bonds. See also, ELISA, MELISA, CEDIA, immunoscreening, lateral flow test, magnetic immunosay, radio immunosay, surround optical fiber immunosay, references. External links, The Immunosay Handbook, 3rd edition, David Wilde, ed. Elsevier, 2008, Learning Guides from Abbott Laboratories on Immunosay, Part 1 Part 2 Part 3 Part 4 Appendix, Immunosay at the U.S. National Library of Medicine Medical Subject Headings, Automation of Immunosays, Chapter 5 and 6 in the book Bioanalytical Chemistry by Susan O. Mickelson.